Thank you for coming to watch another nail art video. This time it's a set of Blue Blood Roses. Um, I got the idea taken from the Wild Romance course on Facebook from, from Jade Barber at Nail and Beauty Excellence. I absolutely loved this technique and I'm going to be doing a lot more. I'm going to start with two coats of black gel polish just to make sure we've got perfect coverage and we're going to fully cure each layer for full time. Just doing the second coat of black. You make sure you've got no bits of lean or fluff or bits of dust in your polish either because we're going to matte top coat this and it'll end up showing through. Fully cure again. This is the matte gel polish. This is my one is a no wipe one, just it's easier. Again, make sure it's all smooth, shiny before curing in the lamp. I'm just putting a little bit of just normal plain white gel polish just on my palette there because we're going to use them to start the roses off this one i'm doing the rose up the back of the nail at the cuticle area i'm going to create a semicircle shape using base coat just with the brush it comes with check over it make sure you like your shape or you've done enough and we're not going to cure it we're going to leave it wet i'm now taking my super fine detail brush the skinny short from nail and beauty excellence and we're going to use this to do the rose petals and each one will bloom slowly. I'm starting in the middle with a dot and a little smile and you'll slow it, slowly see it start blooming which is the effect we want. As you can see, I'm doing little smiles all round, taking it one side, pulling it out the other and taking it around the central bud. And where I place my brush to start is in the gaps of each petal. And keep going round until you can't go round anymore. It'll only bloom where the base coat is as well. So it's not going to spread out all over the, the matte top coat that we've done. Just check it over. Make sure there's no little gaps that you can fit another little petal in. And each one slowly bloomed. The central area has bloomed a lot more than the outside area, which is fine. I'm going to cure that for full time. 
using the same detail brush and the same plain North white gel polish. We're just going to outline those edges of the inside of the petals. Exactly how we did it as we were blooming it, but it's not going to bloom. This adds that lovely highlight for when you colour it. You can see the shadow of the petal behind from where it's bloomed in contrast to the edging. I absolutely love doing these designs, these roses. When you're happy, you can fully cure that again. And this is where we're gonna color it. I've chosen a polish, it's not a solid color, but it's not a glass or a jelly polish. It's just, you can see it's slightly, slightly sheer. We don't wanna fully cover it with color, but we don't want a wishy-washy color. And this polish I found is perfect. Try and get an even coat as possible. You can do two coats if you fancy a deeper colour. Go over any white that you can see. And again, fully cure in the lamp. matte top coating again now because we want our finished look to be a matte look so we do this first before we do our glitter and the raindrops make sure again it's even there's no dips there's no fluff or lint this is a non-wipe shiny top coat we're going to sprinkle our glitter into this. I prefer a non-wipe one, just in case the glitter misses any of it, it's not going to be tacky. And again, the same detail brush as well. And following the curve of that rose round, you can give it a little belt, I'll call it a belt, glitter band. I try to keep it an even thickness all the way round as well. You can do it as thick or as thin as you like, but just try and keep it even. going to keep that wet and this is what we're going to sprinkle your glitter or glitter dust into. I'm using Nail and Beauty Excellence Fantasy Dust Rainbow. This is just a dust. It's beautiful. Perfect for this. And just check in there, you can still see it's a bit dull or wet looking. So just sprinkle again. And when you tap it again, it, it looks a bit better. And fully cure again. 
and using a dusting brush dust off all that extra glitter or give it a wipe with cleanse around the glitter band You can keep your rose like this finished or you can now where it's non shiny you can go in and add little raindrops or water drops which I absolutely loved using a small dotting tool and no wipe top coat again just put a few dots on the very edge of the rose petals where we outlined And just check over if you want to add any more or remove any fully cure and that is the nail finished quite an elegant classy design I'm so glad I learned how to do this technique just matching up with a set there Thank you for watching. I've really, really, really enjoyed doing these for you and see you again soon.